can smell the fox. There you can see a divided clump. I divided these up last year. So they'll go grow into more clumps in years to come. Here are some more clumps. A few of these I divided last year as well. You dig up that clump and then I leave a few behind. And then I walk into the woods. Oh, this is one of those, this is a hybridized one that must have been planted many years ago with the multiple trumpets inside. I might uh, dig that up and divide it and spread it in other locations because they're really beautiful. But up here in the woods, see here's a little mini clump. I could divide those and spread those all out under there. But if we come up here, last spring, I divided more snowdrops here. You can see they're just speckled about, kind of there, 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 there. So they'll grow into clumps. But you can see it's all this whole little area here. I put loads of snowdrops in. And it looks sparse, but give it five years and there will be a lovely drift of snowdrops there. So I'm constantly adding to the drifts of snowdrops by separating them. You can see this will make this woodland lovely if you have drifts of snowdrops all through it. The other stuff here is cow parsley. That's mostly cow parsley. And then for years, there goes a pheasant. Here's wood anemone. The wood anemone is just coming up. It's a beautiful blue one that my grandmother or my great-grandmother planted. But I've been spreading it out through this woodland as well. And then here are bluebells. So this is the biodiversity I'm encouraging because they all provide pollen, seeds, and food for all kinds of animals. So there's bluebells, cow parsley, wood anemone, and snowdrops. Uh, the next thing I need to start planting in here and dividing from elsewhere are those beautiful yellow aconites. That'll be lovely in here with their yellow, have splashes of yellow kind of in and around the trunks of trees. So the dogs love it in here. And there's all kinds of trees we have in here from spindle to cherry to ash all kinds and uh, this is a big cherry tree and that's another big tree look at all the bluebells coming up i'm always dispersing bluebell seeds oh an old puff mushroom this, if it's dry, is a puffer mushroom that you squeeze and it puffs out. It's good to see that there. Biodiversity. Oh, and here's lords and ladies. This is a lords and ladies coming up. And another one, and another one, and another one. A whole bunch of them here. Gray squirrels like digging them up and eating them. They're poisonous to just about everything else, but gray squirrels seem to like eating their um, rhizomes. So, yeah. Oh, and Solomon seal comes up here as well. We have Solomon seal that my grandmother planted in here. And that will be coming up uh, towards the end of this month. Right here, there's a big patch of Solomon seal. I don't see any of it coming up yet. It wouldn't be raising its head yet. But you can see the sheep have grazed all the ivy off the ground. And there's a height at which everything grows. And they graze from that downwards. 
and that enhances the biodiversity. If I left all the ivy here, it would eliminate the biodiversity. <laughs>